So hi guys, welcome back to Windows Astro Forum. I'm actually still alive. <laughs> this is an unscripted, unedited video. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here again, uh, back from a three week holiday uh, to the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And in this video, I just wanted to mention that there are two amazing astronomy events you don't want to miss out on in August 2023. And also, I want to get into a little bit about some new ideas I had for the channel or just my astrophotography uh, activities in general. So I wanted to, sh to put that out there and share that with you. Let me know what you think about that. So yeah, Czech Republic, I have to say like a couple of things about my holiday before I start talking about astronomy and astrophotography again. Um, if you are ever in Europe, just uh, don't forget to visit the Czech Republic and especially visit the capital Prague. So Prague is of course the, the capital of the Czech Republic and you know, I visited London, Rome, Paris, beautiful, beautiful cities of course, but uh, I think Prague is up among those cities. It's so super romantic. It has a very a nice old uh, center and the, you have this big river, the Moldau, that is also dividing the city into different parts. And there are some beautiful ancient bridges across that river, uh, super beautiful churches and, uh, and palaces and castles. So, if you're ever in Europe, don't forget to, to, to check out Prague. And Slovakia is super beautiful for its nature. So actually you have amazing Tatra mountain range in the north of Slovakia. It's on the border with Poland. And uh, unfortunately we had some rain, some clouds, also some sunshine. So I couldn't go out walking every day. And also I, I couldn't engage in any astrophotography because of uh, yeah, the, the weather was a little bit cloudy. Um, but anyway, super nice uh, mountain range. I did some hiking there. Um, actually, I was a little bit worried uh, at one point because I met a Polish guy who was also doing some hiking there. And he reminded me that in the Tatra mountains, there is quite a large population of brown bears. <laughs> so after talking to that guy, I was a little bit freaked out, but um, it lasted about 30, 30 minutes and then I was fine again, uh, or at least I, I had my emotions under, under control again. Anyway, super nice uh, area to go hiking and also they have super nice natural hot springs with water temperatures up to body temperature or a little bit above that, so 40 degrees Celsius. Super nice to relax. Now, anyway, Czech Republic and Slovakia, big thumbs up if you're from there. Uh, I really enjoyed your country. Thanks for... Uh, uh, for ha for hosting my family. Um, anyway, um, so August 2023, two things to keep in mind. The first is that this weekend we will have the first Sage meteor shower, or actually I won't be seeing it, I think, because there are many, many clouds in Western Europe at the moment. Um, but yeah, the, the per se meteor shower, if you have some clear skies on the night of Friday to Saturday, so the 12th of August or the, the 13th of August, definitely go out there just after midnight, uh, just lay down in the grass or whatever, try to, try to visit the dark side. Look up and you will be amazed because the Perseids meteor shower, the R, it, it produces this meteor shower with 50 to 100 meteors per hour. It's one of the best meteor showers you can visit during the entire year. So don't miss out on that Perseids meteor shower. Um, if you want to photograph meteors, I have um, like a blog, some information, kind of a tutorial. Uh, on my website about how to how to do that on how to actually yeah you have you need a wide angle lens on a tripod uh, low f ratio uh, take like 20 to 30 second exposures to catch these fireballs in meteors in the night sky anyway there are all kinds of all, all, I have different tips on how to do that how to photograph meteors so if you're into that um, check out my website I will put a link in the video description below and now actually these uh, these meteors they are left over from uh, a leftover from a comet uh, named Swift turtle and let's check yeah, Comet Swift Turtle. Uh, it approached. It, it, uh, it actually it orbited the sun in 1992. It was very close to Earth, and it will not be close to Earth until 2125. So will not be alive uh, then, I think. 
I don't know what AI is going to do, uh, but uh, I think I will be, uh, I will not be around in 21, 25. Uh, but anyway, it left uh, a lot of meteors, like little rocks in space, and every, every year the Earth is moving through that cloud of meteors, little rocks, and they burn up in the atmosphere. So that's what's causing the meteor shower. Anyway, lay down in the lay down in uh, in the grass on some in some dark place and enjoy that meteor shower. The second thing you want to be looking out for is Saturn because Saturn reaches its opposition on August 27, and that provides, of course, an amazing opportunity to to actually photograph uh, or do so, some planetary imaging um, in August and uh, look at Saturn. And actually, I have to be honest, uh, you need uh, a telescope with quite a big aperture and especially also a, foc a, big, uh, a long focal length to actually capture Saturn. I, I have lots of videos about uh, what kind of gear you need, how to uh, actually set up that gear and capture images and videos of planets like Saturn and how to process them. I will also put some tips and tricks in the video uh, description below on how to do that. So um, anyway, so first stage meteor shower and uh, Saturn in opposition. Please look out for these two amazing astronomy events. Um, then in terms of my channel, um, I just wanted to thank everybody who actually followed me up to this point or started to follow me. Um, some of you also uh, bought some, some, some t-shirts that I put out or you supported me by giving some 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 minor gifts so I just want to let you know that I'm, I really appreciate these kind of things because I think I spend at least that much as much money on like um, putting the content out and keeping uh, the YouTube channel alive and my website alive and update uh, update my videos and websites with uh, new information and so on. So I just wanted to, to, to say that I'm really grateful uh, to anybody or anyone who has been supporting me up to this point. So thanks a lot. And I was, I was thinking, um, can I give something back to those, uh, those people who are supporting me? So what I did is um, yeah, I will just keep on creating content about astrophotography videos car, and I will also uh, yeah, provide updates through that, the community posts that you can do on YouTube. And I have my own website astroformspace.com. But I think especially for people who have been uh, supporting me financially without me asking, um, I mean, thank you so much. And I, want, I wanted to do something back so, um, yeah, you, you can join the channel for like $2.99, I think. I put, <laughs> I forgot, it's like $3 a month. Um, and I think if you want to do that as a return, um, I was thinking about uh, providing you with the opportunity to get into to get in touch with me, not, not only via online videos or like emails, but maybe schedule some one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or consultancy sessions where you can just ask me anything about like astronomy, astrophotography with a DSLR or astrophotography with um, a telescope and a camera, um, how to capture planets, how to capture deep sky objects and so on, or galaxies, how to process them, the kind of astrophotography things you're maybe wrestling with, with, or maybe you think about what kind of gear should I get for a certain, like a, a certain picture I want to take, I don't know. But anyway, I was thinking about that and I, I just want to, to see if you were would be interested in that. So that would not be like an entire course because I think I have put out a lot of free content, online content on my YouTube channel already. So, I mean, if you want to see a video on how to capture and process the planets, I can refer you to a video that I did already, right? Uh, made already. Um, yeah, and I will provide updates when I find more like innovative or newer methods on how to do deep sky imaging or capturing capture planets or capturing the sun, that kind of stuff. So I was thinking, in addition to that, uh, what, what you cannot do in videos or online courses is just 
directly ask me something, uh, something you're struggling with, you're wrestling with, and then maybe we can schedule like a free uh, 20 or 30 minute uh, coaching or consultancy session. Um, and we can use, I think, Teams or whatever, like uh, an online um, uh, communication program that we can use to get in touch with uh, one another. So I'm thinking about that in addition to just providing my regular updates and videos. So let me, let me ask you, like, what do you think about uh, that kind of format where I would say like, okay, for like two or three dollars a month, um, you can also personally get in touch with me uh, maybe schedule some free uh, consultancy sessions or meetings uh, where we can get into like astrophotography, uh, any kind of uh, topic about astrophotography or astronomy uh, events you want to talk to me about. So that's it, I guess. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm sorry I didn't edit this video. This is a one take video. And um, yeah, let me also <laughs> let, let me also uh, know what you think about that because. Uh, uh, a one take video is a lot easier than all of these edits and music and uh, I know that they are nicer but uh, this is of course uh, also a very easy way to get in touch with you. Uh, just put uh, the camera on record and talk to you. So let me know what, uh, also let me know what you want to see in the channel for the upcoming months and I hope you had a good holiday as well. Um, and I will see you in the next video or maybe the next comment. Clear skies.